Hello. In this video, we will learn how to find the confidence interval of a mean uh, using GeoGebra. So go to the link below and then copy that and open and you will see the middle screen that have three parts and the middle screen look like this one right here and then we're going to go along uh, along with this one okay so let's do the problem like this um, the effectiveness of the blood pressure drug is being investigated and experimenter finds that on average the reduction in systolic blood pressure is 21.7 for the assemble of the side 21 and standard deviation is 20.7. Estimate how much the drug will lower the a typical patient's uh, systolic blood pressure using 90% confidence in a level, assuming that the data is from a normal distributed population. So now you have your screen and then you will see it's something it looked like like this in the middle. But yeah, you're going to see something like this. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to use this one to um, find the confidence interval. So in this problem here, they give us the mean, they give us the sample side and the sample standard deviation, but they don't give us the population standard deviation. So therefore, we're going to use the T estimate. So you're going to go here, click on statistics, and then click on this drop down menus right here, and you choose T uh, estimate for the mean is right here. Yeah. So click on that, and then we're going to follow here. So in this problem, they say using 90% confidence level. So if you are not the same like this, change it to 90%, which is 0 0.9. And then over here, we're going to enter the mean, which is 21.7, enter in here. The sample size 21, that means n equal 21. And the standard deviation over here, they say 20.7. So we're going to put here, this is sample standard deviation. Yes. So after you enter all of this here, hit enter, then you will see below right here, it have the lower limit. Um, of uh, 13.9093 uh, and the upper limit is 20.4907. So on the answer, you're going to write like this. You're going to write over here, that would be um, the parenthesis and you write lower limit, that would be 13.9093 and then comma, and we have over here that you have over here will be 29. Point forty nine or seven, so that how you type it there. That's a confidence interval that you type in there. Um, so that's it for the problem. We're given the mean, the sample size, and the sample standard deviation. Now you may have the problem that they give you the data like this problem right here. This problem right here. So a study was conducted to see how steady the, the elderly are on their feet. They had subjects stand on a force platform and have them react to a noise. The force platform then measure how much this way forward and backward in millimeter and the data from a sample of elderly people is given in the table below, is right here. And find the 97 confidence interval for the mean sway of all elderly people. So in the app you open, you will see the data is right here. It has from one to 24. So this is our sample data. So with something like this, they don't give us the mean, they don't give us standard deviation, um, but we can use this app to do it, okay? So first, you highlight the number, highlight the number, okay? So I have 24 number, make sure you highlight 24 only, okay? 
and then you click on the symbol right here. I say one variable analysis. Click on it and then do one variable analysis right here. Then you will see a screen pop up a call analyze, right? So you click on analyze and then you will see something like this. So it shows the histogram of the data that they graphed for you before, okay? Now you want to choose um, So you're gonna click on the symbol right here, this uh, Sigma X right here. And then you see they give you how many number are they? So make sure it matching with what you see over there. 24 should show 24 right here. The mean they calculated for you 24.75. The Sigma right here, that population standard deviation which is if the population is just this big, then they give you standard deviation right here. But we don't use that. We just have the sample standard deviation, which they calculate for you right here. And uh, um, sigma x, sigma x squares, all this one here, we don't need it for this example. We're looking for um, something. We're going to use over here, this drop down menu right here. You're going to do T estimate for the mean because we don't know the population standard deviation. Click on this. And then we're going to change over here. They want 97% and you change this one with point 97. Click enter and then they have all the number here for you. So remember we see that earlier that the mean will be 24.75. So this one here plus minus over here. If you make this one wider, you will see it show your margin of error right there, which is this one, the number you have right here. Yeah, margin of error right here. So if you take the mean, you minus the margin of error, you have the lower limit. And you plus the margin of error, then you have the upper limit. So therefore, the answer for this one right here, you will see the confidence interval. Again, you're going to have a parenthesis, and you write the lower limit first, zero, Point two three seven six, and then twenty nine point two six two four. So that would be your answer. That is ninety seven confidence interval for this data that you have right here.